It's Alwete Omnes, this is I'm Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of Mega Man 10. In the last episode, we got the worst sunburn of our lives in Solar Man Stage. So now let's cool down with Chill Man Stage. At least if I can remember which button to press. I'd say Chill Man probably has the hardest, the hardest stage and boss combo in the game. I mean, out of the Robot Masters, obviously. So it's obviously the ice level. The music was done by, I believe his name is Shusako Uchiyama. He also composed the music for Mega Man 8, which explains why this track sounds so different from all the others. Because the same was true for Mega Man 8. Well, it's music, I mean. Yeah, so we have more of the shield enemies, and we have these, well, we have these snowman enemies. They throw your head at you, their heads at you. You can shoot the heads, or the snowman's body, and if the heads land on a the surface, they split like that. The ice physics in this game are oddly sticky. We also have these ice blocks. Step on it, or shoot it to crack it once, and do so again to break it. It's like, normally, any sort of ice physics in video games gives you less friction, and if anything, in this game it seems like you have more. Well, I guess I'm not getting that bolt. Not exactly what I was trying, intending to do there. Okay, that one does go all the way. Good to know. Also, that one up is probably not worth it. I guess I could go for it anyway. Ow. If I die getting it, I'm still back where I was before, right? I also can't tell if this platform's slippery or not. Okay, I actually did get it and get out safely. Good. And I almost reacted too late there, but here we have a choice of two paths. Though, unlike back in Commando Man's stage, you can see them both at the same time. It doesn't matter that much which one you take, but I believe you do get a W tank if you go up, so we'll do that. Also, octopus batteries. Remember these things? I don't think they've been in... well... Uh, what was I saying? I was saying that they were in Mega Man 1 and they've hardly been in any game since. I can't even think of another game that they were in, actually. Besides 1 and 10. I think they were in one of the Game Boy games, but I could be wrong. As usual, they go back and forth, either between two walls or between the floor and the ceiling. And they take five shots to destroy. Yeah, W tank. See if I end up needing that in the Wily stages. Also, good to know that the shield enemies take four hits. Honestly, the music skin in this stage is one of those that I wasn't too keen on at first, but it grew on me. It's rather nice, I'd say. Maybe I should do a remix of it. Probably not with Mega Man 7 sound font, but I feel like it would actually sound better with Mega Man and basses. I could use Cold Man's mallet percussion, you know. So I'm not actually sure what uh, Chill Man's stage is supposed to be. I vaguely recall it being the iceberg, but... Oh, heck. That is not what I was going for there. Oh crap, and the ice blocks didn't respawn. Okay, well that could have gone better, but it could have gone worse. So now we come to the final room of the stage, and probably the most dangerous. More snowmen. And a new enemy type that we'll see right here. Remember the pippies from Mega Man 2? This time they drop eggs that rocket toward you. Still a lot less spammy than the original Pippi, though. I am running low on life. Yeah, the eggs always go to your Y position. So you can kind of lure them that way. And we also have... I forgot to mention earlier that the stage has miniature versions of the hopper enemies. And they like to break the ice under you. Or, not under you, but the ice that you're about to step on. And here's a big one. Go ahead, break that ice. Oh, it's gonna respawn, isn't it? Well, it's fine. Ah, hoo, hoo, hoo 
So it's time for Chill Man. I didn't die during the stage itself, but I'm pretty much 99% certain that uh, certain that I'm going to die in the boss. He uses the Chill Spike, and he has Ice Physics helping him, because of course he does. I rather like his design, though, the kind of head inside the Ice Crystal thing. Actually, his primary strategy seems to be contact damage. He loves to freeze you and then run you over, because if you get caught by the Chill Spike before it lands on the ground, as you saw, you get frozen. Yeah, that lost long. Not. That's basically what the Chill Spike does when you get it, too. You can shoot it on the ground to make little spikes, or you can freeze stuff with the blob of ice. Yeah, this is going to be another Solar, uh, Solar Man situation. Except the stage will take longer to get through than Solar Man's does. He really loves to spam these things on hard mode. I think this is another of those bosses where... If you have a choice between dodging or damaging, do the former. He just wants to give you a big hug. Well, to, uh, to be fair, I suppose... If I could hit my enemies bodily to damage them while not taking any damage myself, that might very well be my strategy, too. Hey, you changed the script. We weren't supposed to stop there. That actually went a lot more smoothly than I expected, though. Only took me two tries as opposed to Solar Man, which was more than two. Honestly, I did better at that entire stage than I expected to. That one made me a bit nervous. Also, if you're wondering why I dem didn't demonstrate the Solar Blaze, that was actually a deliberate choice. It's Shillman's weakness, and I thought if I had to use it on him, I didn't really want to use up the ammo for it. So now we get the Chill Spike. It makes spikes on the ground, like I said. Unfortunately, you can only have one of them on the screen at a time. Oh, and since we've beaten four bosses, we get the Rush Jet, too. Which is honestly a lot more useful than the Chill Spike. So, let's see... Yeah. So, we're already halfway through the Robot Masters. Oh, and we get a cutscene, too. Uh... Roll! Now it's you, Mega Man. Thanks to you, I was able to create a prototype cure. Once we have all the pieces to the machine, we can start mass-producing the medicine. I think everything's going to be okay. <laughs> Fate tempted. That's great news. I'll go back out there and get those missing pieces. Before you go, Mega Man, are you sure you're not suffering from any symptoms of Roboenza? No, I'm great. Use the medicine you have on those who really need it. Well, if that's what you want, yeah, four Robot Masters down and four to go. So I'll see you in the second half of them next time.